Wow! Lady to Lady is supported in part by HelloFresh, the meal kit delivery service dedicated to making cooking fun, easy, and convenient. This is Babs. I got a HelloFresh box, and let me tell you what. I was like, Hello Fresh! It's really tasty, really convenient, and made me feel like a real human being who cooks meals. Um, I have one cooking right now. It smells great. I'm going to eat it immediately after I'm done saying these words. Each week, HelloFresh creates new delicious recipes with step-by-step instructions designed to take around 30 minutes for everyone from novices to seasoned home cooks short on time, all for less than $10 a meal. What? Less than $10 a meal? Gaggity gaggity! All delivered to your doorstep in a special insulated box for free. For $30 off your first week of HelloFresh, visit HelloFresh.com and enter promo code LADY30. That's promo code L-A-D-Y-3-0. Get your HelloFresh box! Goodbye. I'm Barbara Gray, and I've been incredibly lonely lately, but luckily there's so much good news in the world I barely notice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brittany Posey, and here's an idea. Give all the opioids to all the Nazis. Mm. Yay. Yeah, one-two punch. <laughs> I'm Tess Brucker, and who needs a pool when I can just swim in my boob sweat? <laughs> <laughs> this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. <laughs> For everyone, that's the fucking best. Come on, baby, it's time to hang out with your favorite ladies. Ladies and ladies, ladies and ladies. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hello. Nice little <laughs> pseudo depressing jokes on the top of the top. <laughs> yeah. I um, mean, this is just our reality. Okay. This is the reality we live in. Yeah. And it's great. And it is our it is our responsibility to just to be the jester. I'm oh, sorry. In we're just society. That's our role in society, okay? I'm sorry. We're that's just, just the mantle we bear. We're just jesters. <laughs> yeah, just jesters. Just, that's a just good... Just jesting around. That's a good bad comedy club name. Just, just jesters. Just, just jesting. Oh, yeah. Just jesting. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. It's like just joshing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just jesting you. Um... Are we going to be... Well, okay. I, we don't know what's going on. Uh, we're going to be at Fest at the end of October. Yes, yeah, there are. In Gainesville, Florida. We're mm-hmm. doing shows. We're doing a podcast. Come yep. check us out. Yeah. Uh, last weekend of October. First time in Florida. It's going to be And Halloween it's gonna weekend. It's going to be super sick. We're doing shows on Saturday the 28th and Sunday the 29th. Um, we all have stand-up sets on both of those days. And there's a live podcast on Saturday the 28th oh my God, at 8 so o'clock. so much lady to lady. Yeah. So come out if you want to live anywhere mm-hmm. near Florida. It's going to be super fun. And I mean, you're going to, like, I want to see you on my first time in Florida. Yeah. Listeners. Absolutely. I mean, Tess, Help you me. guys got to come. Yeah. Tess and Barbara have not been to Florida. You guys right. to turn it the fuck out. I mean, and yeah. show them what's this up. This is going to be like a virgin losing their virginity to the rock. <laughs> it's gonna be what? just graphic maybe don't bring that graphic <laughs> deflowering <laughs> that's what mean, i'm expecting from florida if you mean a lot of like tan shaved muscly people then, yeah. <laughs> then yes yeah <laughs> yeah basically yeah yeah that'll be great yeah um also this weekend i am going to be at the red clay comedy festival in atlanta georgia uh september 28th 29th and 30th i don't know exactly what i'm doing yet but i will have that at some point monday october 2nd i'm going to be in memphis tennessee um you're the last stop on my tour oh um no on uh October 3rd, it's a Tuesday, I'm going to be in Whitesburg, Kentucky. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm hanging mm. out with some uh, super sick people from the Trillbilly Workers Party podcast. If you don't listen to them, they're fucking cool. Uh, this girl, Tanya Tucker, who has an awesome feminist radio show in the Appalachian Mountains. I'm going to hang wow. out. I'm hanging out with her, basically. I got one day between Fuck Memphis yeah. and Chicago, and I was like, I like you. Let's be friends. Um, so I might be doing a show if we can work it out. Uh, it might be weird, but come to that if you're near Whitesburg, Kentucky. <laughs> wow. Whitesburg. Whitesburg, Jesus Kentucky. Where, where's the Whitesburg listeners at? <laughs> Where are they at? Uh, if you're trimming weed, I'll be in Humboldt. <laughs> I mean, we have had listeners. My yeah. friend trims weed. And he was trimming weed. And another girl that he was trimming with was like, I love these girls. Turned it on. It was Lady Lady. And he was like, oh, my God. That's my Boom. sister's best friend. There you go. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense if you're like, you, you need something in your ears. Yeah. yeah. You got to zone out. So you, yeah. if you want me in your face hole, I'll be in humble October 7th. And 8th. If you want, to, want us in your ear holes, find us the rest of the year. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Our guest is great. <laughs> <laughs> she's written for lots of great shows. She's a great writer. She's written for McSweeney's uh, over at Split Cider. Uh, she writes for Hard Times, and she's also part of the Hard Times Live monthly show at the Nerdist Theater in L.A., Hannah Michaels. Hey. Hello. Hey. Have you been to Florida, Hannah? Um, 
I haven't. I dated someone from Florida once, and that was that was all I needed. Yeah, that's yeah, enough exposure. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> yeah. how Florida tends to work its ways. Oh my God, me too. <laughs> and I'm also done. For, I forgot about that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think uh, we're good. good. Florida. Yeah, acts. yeah we're good. <laughs> What do you guys think was the most Florida thing that happened in each of your individual Florida dating uh, situations? They were a complete nightmare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both of you? Yeah. Uh, they were a secret Nazi. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's rough. Shit. Okay, yeah. mine wasn't that bad. Mine wasn't that bad. Yeah, no, I, I have... I'm special. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, you date a lot of sword dudes and secret Nazis. <laughs> Apparently. I don't know. I don't... He knew I was Jewish. Man. Wow. Yeah, they I don't know, they do that. Yeah, I think that's I like a weird that. I'm it's sure a it's a weird sex yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah. Well it's like the homophobic uh guys that end up being yeah. gay. Yeah. You don't know. protest too much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, for sure. Ugh. Can we ask how you found out? Is this appropriate to ask? Oh no, totally. I found a blog. Oh, oh. damn. Classic. He was just it, writing like a Nazi blog? Yeah, yeah. And I I didn't know. Um Fuck. and then I I found it. It had been like an was ongoing it? while you were dating, he was updating the blog? Yeah. It was an ongoing thing, wow. and I didn't know. Um, and I guess may- maybe, looking back, there were red flags, but I was like a college kid. Right. Wow. So I didn't necessarily see them. Yeah. Um, but it was, I guess. Wow. There's some experience. flags to ignore. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's like a big one, and it's red with it's, a white yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got a very big red flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing, like, coming across a furry Nazi Twitter feed. Oh yeah, that's Do you feel like, is it worse if they're a furry Nazi or just as bad? <laughs> just I a Nazi? think it is slightly better because <laughs> you don't have to see their face. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it is less threatening. I guess yeah. it's less threatening. It's less fr- yeah. more furry. Yeah, and I just hope that they're getting heat stroke in their suit. Yeah. Right. It seems uncomfortable, which is good. Yeah, yeah I want them to right. chafe. It's yeah. like saying Voldemort. It takes the power away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we're a da- dating tip for everybody. Now <laughs> on in the, f- in the future, Google the your potential date and the word Nazi. Yeah. Let's see what pops up. Yeah. We'll just Google your What dates. other words? What other words could there be? Yeah. Uh, all right. Turn that in there. Um, but like, what about like something you hate that you just want to see if they have like a Frasier blog or something? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, oh, God. A blog dedicated exclusively to that book Kelsey Grammer put out where he just yells at the dog. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> he was so jealous of that dog. Really? That dog's acting ability. Of Eddie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, there's like, there's several paragraphs about how the dog's not a real actor. <laughs> well, excuse me, Kelsey, first of all. Uh, I believe the dog is acting way better than everyone else involved. Like, the dog is out of his species element. Seriously, he learned a second language. <laughs> yeah. You, know you guys, exactly. who's better, Eddie or Wishbone? Oh, uh, I mean, Wishbone probably has a larger repertoire of uh, tricks and treats. Yeah, um, but Eddie has that like know. scrappy charm. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working it out. I'm working it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Mary Kill. Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the wish for would be. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Aww, I guess that's not a real. That's not a real dog. Yeah, no, no, no. it's be an actual dog actor. Right, right, right. Air Bud. Air oh, Bud. That's yeah, a good yeah, one. Yeah. I love Clifford. That's a good dog. I mean, you <laughs> find most, a- most athletic. <laughs> 100%. Total jock. Total, total jock, that hair. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that, like, dogs know how to surf? Like, I feel like we exploit that slash don't... don't know how to. Do oh, we yeah. teach them? But how? I assume they, like, some dogs just know how to surf. I mean, how would you teach one? I think if you show it, like, hey, look, get up here. Right? So it knows how to surf. You All you did was give it the surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to argue this or agree with it. <laughs> yeah, there's not really an answer here. I just, well, it, it should be no surprise. I watch a lot of videos of dogs surfing. Oh, for sure. And yeah. it's just so joyful. But it's just like, how do they know how to surf? Yeah. I mean, that's astonishing. They're, they, well, they're very uh, aqua focused anyway. They're good swimmers. I guess, yeah. but it's kind of a different skill set. It is. You're yeah. not swimming at all. I mean, you yeah. know, as someone who's been horrible at surfing. Yeah. Hats off okay. to dogs. Yeah. Do you guys want to? Do you guys want to venture a guess as to how many Airbud movies there are? Three. Uh, no, there's more than that. Uh, really? Yeah. Including, if you want to, there's Airbuds, and then there's like in the family of Airbuds, which are even more. Let's just say strict. Oh. If the Airbud is in the title. Okay. Uh, nine. Uh, seven. 
I'd like to change my answer to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll go with eight. Okay. Ooh. There are five official Air Bud movies. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Air Bud, Air Bud Golden Receiver, yep. Air Bud World Pup, <laughs> Air Bud <laughs> Seventh Inning Fetch. <laughs> uh, these are all good. Yeah. <laughs> Air Bud Spikes Back. That's a volleyball. They kind of got lazy on that one, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you're going into the Air Buddies films, mm. which are considered spinoffs of the original series, oh. focusing on Buddies Puppies. Air Buddies, Snow Buddies, Space Buddies, Santa Buddies, Spooky Buddies, Treasure Buddies, Super Buddies. Spooky Buddies! <laughs> I don't know more about Spooky Buddies. Spooky Buddies! Aww, that the, sounds adorable! Aw, little dogs in a haunted house. Yeah, it, the Buddies are in, new, in a new adventure when Halloween hits Fernfield, is that one. Can you imagine shooting one of these movies? Can you imagine just the chaos sounds of wonderful. the set? Oh my god, of just, like, just Come fluffy. over here, over here, over here, over here, come on! No, 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 no! That would be really funny to re to re put out one of the scenes with that with that sound. Ha 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 ha! With all the up here. Oh, good girl! Yeah, so many good girls on set. So many good girls. And then, of course, there is sorry not to leave out the search for Santa Paws and Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think I watched one of these on Christmas and Santa Paws two, uh, colon the Santa Pups. Is that when Santa Paws becomes <laughs> this Tim is, Allen? This is when yeah yeah. That's <laughs> is Santa Paws a dog? Santa Paws is in Santa is in trouble. Paws has to save Christmas with the help of some friends. So it's Santa is still a man. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And in Santa Paws 2, when the Christmas spirit begins to disappear, Mrs. Claus and the Santa... Oh, I don't know what happened to Santa. When when the Christmas spirit begins to disappear, Mrs. Claus and the Santa Pups must race to save Christmas around the world. Oh, no. Man, how dope would that be to see fucking puppies coming down your chimney? Way better than a man. Yeah. Way better than an old man. I would always rather puppies than a man. Yeah. Yeah. Always. (laughs) (laughs) Always. (laughs) Wow, they have it listed, the... The, the dogs listed that play the... Aww. Aww. All right, we're not going to go through that, but just so you know, various Golden Retriever dog actors. God, they're such good actors, Golden Retrievers. Yeah. Very noble animal. Yeah. So sweet. Yeah, just the purest. <laughs> our, dog, our dog Buddy failed his test because we tried to make him be a hospital therapy dog. Mm-hmm. Uh, he passed all of the levels of like, it's a very detailed test and they have to like do all this stuff in the hospital, but then they bring in a golden retriever and your dog can't want to play with them at all. Aww. It was like this hot golden retriever. Buddy can't handle that. Yeah, but that was like too much for Buddy. I was like, well, I mean, you need to bring in like a more, a less desirable dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, and when's there going to be like a golden retriever roaming the hospital hallways? Yeah, this is perfect yeah. golden retriever. Yeah. yeah. Bring in a Chinese crusted. It, yeah. Like yeah. Seriously. Chinese crusted? Oh, crusted. crusted. They, they're like half bald. Um, they have natural mohawks. Yeah. Oh, I've seen them. You, okay. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You know about the natural those, mohawk. So. I got. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're pretty fun. Yeah. They kind of look like um, hyenas. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. yeah that look. Have you guys ever read uh, the Wat? I think it's called The Watchers by uh, Dean Koontz. No. It's a great book about. Um, uh, basically, there's a super smart golden retriever that like. There's this guy that like goes into the woods because like his wife his wife died and he's going to kill himself but then this like super smart dog comes out of nowhere and like saves him basically but then he turns out that he was like a government project because like the government was breeding these dogs to like give them to like russian diplomats so they could spy on them how do you remember the plot of a dean Koontz book so well like i don't remember anything i read in elementary school with this level of detail Be- i don't know i'm just, <laughs> just impressed just, I, Go I, on. I just remember I, I, this one specifically i didn't read a lot of dean Koontz, but this one i know Wait, they, so they were trying to get these dogs to be spies Let's yeah yeah see. because they they basically they experimented on them and made them super smart so they so like basically there's this part in the book where the guy like teaches the dog to read and he sets up this whole thing with scrabble tiles so the dog can hit the letters to like say sentences to him and stuff what, what a dream and it's like it literally is just like a dog owner's fantasy novel and there's so there's like <laughs> and there is like a sci-fi element because like, the other half is like they made him and they also made this like weird like a baboon like like a uh, uh, soldier thing and then they're psychically connected but the, and the dog is like the purest goodest most good animal of all time of course he's just like he's like filled with like such empathy and he's just a beautiful animal it's very selfless and just like you might as well just make the dog talk at that point like come on yeah mm. just oh, go on. full talk oh, skipping guys. the doing the scrabble tiles yeah it's great though because when they when the guy figures out that the dog can read it's amazing because he's just like trying to figure it out it's just it's really awesome he's like this is trash that, yeah that highly Helen recommend Keller moment yeah yeah <laughs> with your dog yeah exactly highly recommend it's a really really good book i remember loving it a lot 
Wow. I've never read a Koontz. I never went down the Koontz hole. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I was big like Sweet Valley High Babysitter Club. Those were my franchises. Mm. Little House on the Prairie I was really into. Oh, yeah. My mom made me read All of a Kind Family, which is like Little House on the Prairie for Jews. Oh, um, okay. Um, which, that, it was fine. Um, I loved Wayside School. You yeah. Know? Wayside School was the Those best. So no, you guys, no, no. Boxcar Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Get out Boxcar of here. Kids What's was up? pretty dope, too. I mean, it was like, it just was like you had this little fantasy about like what you would make your boxcar look it, like. It seems so yeah. appealing to be living in trash. I remember <laughs> they had like a broken teacup and I was like, that's perfect. Yeah. How many people are hoarders because of, of Boxcar <laughs> Kids? <laughs> That's what I'll use as an excuse. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Wayside School is cool. I always love the, um, uh, the kid that gets the tattoo of the potato. The potato, oh, yeah. I always, that was like a lesson that I've like held. It'll be like, no, it's going to be something you just love. That isn't like controversial. It's going to be just something that you love. You're never, you'll never regret it if it's something you love. Yeah, that potato tattoo is very inspirational. Yeah, it yeah. is yeah. exactly what you should do in a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, potato's not like a band that can like do something fucked up eventually. Yeah. I know. Oh. I mean, I guess the potato family was kind of fucked up, but it wasn't potato's fault. Yeah, but it wasn't potato's <laughs> fault. If anything, it was a lack of potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Potato <laughs> tried. Potato tried their hardest. Yeah. <laughs> just couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get anything tattooed of a... You want a person to be dead, I think, before you tattoo. Yeah, yeah. you got to make sure they're not going to do anything fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or do yeah. whatever you're going to do. And I like, mean, yeah. If you have a bad tattoo, you have... I think that's the other thing is like, worst case scenario, you have a bad tattoo. Yeah, but I'm yeah. thinking like, you know, people who come out as like horrible human beings. If you had a Bill you Cosby a, tattoo yeah. or something. That's, that's, uh, oh, yeah. like a celebrity that kind of tattoo. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, yeah. tricky. Yeah. yeah. That is tricky. That, you want them to be dead and gone. Or like <laughs> Steve-O has a tattoo of himself. It, yeah, on his back. Yeah. That's amazing. And yeah. Steve-O's done some shit. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, imagine waking up to Steve-O's back face. <laughs> <laughs> What a dream. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Oh, I have a Charo update. I saw Charo. Ooh. (laughs) Tess's friends at Charo, huh? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Went to her show at the Hollywood Bowl. She was fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was great. I mean, just very, like, she just looks so good. She had this, like, sequined blue, um, like, fluffy dress that, like, she was just, like, on the stage in this giant blue gown, Mm -hmm. just owning the guitar and, like, playing it all passionately. And then in the finale, she whips off the bottom part of the skirt and it turns into just like a dance outfit. <gasps> yeah, girl. And all these dancers I come out and the orchestra is like playing. I know. It was just so magical. Hell yeah, Charo. So she fucking rocked it. It was great to see her there because she <laughs> told me beforehand that she's wanted to play there ever since she was a little girl. Because like she used to watch um, this like movie from the Hollywood Bowl and like one of the earliest melodies that she learned was about uh, was from West Side Story played at the Hollywood Bowl. But then at the, the other band that went on after her, they kind of like rushed her off stage. And then the other band that went on after her played for like super long. Mm. And I guess they asked her to come on and do like a finale with them at the end, but they hadn't like given her the music or anything. What? And so I saw her afterwards and she changed into outfit B to greet her friends. <laughs> also seek, also beaded red, yeah. like a jumpsuit with a skirt, like not what she wore on stage, but very wonderful. That's awesome. And uh, she's like, yeah. I wasn't prepared. She's like, I didn't know what key they ordered it in. She's like, never go on stage if you're not prepared. And so I was like, all right, good Charo lesson. More Charo yeah. wisdom. Yeah. yeah. So Char- that was my Charo wisdom. Not an improv fan. Did you get to like no. go backstage and stuff? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. Afterwards, I got That's to go cool. like, it was so cool, like being at the Hollywood Bowl. And I was like, I'm looking for the artist entrance. I'm here to see Charo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It was Feels great to see good. her. <laughs> yeah. That's so right. Awesome. No, I remember. I love that article you wrote about her. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah they're really like good. buddies now. Yeah. I, I met her writing that article and we just became friends. Charo That's just awesome. calls Tess every once in a while. It's amazing. Yeah. She's my mentor. I love that. She's um, an amazing woman. And she was just, like, so cute backstage. Like, she was, like, it wasn't, like, that many people back there. But, like, people had brought their kids and stuff. And she was giving them guitar tips. Yeah. And she was just, like, so enthusiastic just going around talking Aww. to everyone. And, like, I love about, her so much. Yeah. She's so sweet. The importance of uh, of discipline and yeah. practicing skills and shit like that. Hell, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, she's an amazing person. So, yeah. I need a mentor, you guys. We all need... <laughs> Not a therapist, but a mentor. I mean, a yeah. mentor yeah. is so much more Someone who just drops in and gives you, like, really great... Yeah. 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 Kernels. Yeah. 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 Ideally, Nuggets. like, in a beaded outfit. Yeah. <laughs> True. That, I mean, that is a huge part of it. Like, yeah. I want, <laughs> I want the outfit change involved. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just thinking about, like, the, like, 
couple of like older guy comics that I kind of consider that and picturing them in beaded costumes is really hilarious. I was just thinking of my ther- <laughs> my therapist doing a costume change mid session. That would really <laughs> step up the game, I think. Cuz then you know, we're this is now we're in tuxedo therapy now. Yeah, right. it's totally different. God, I want to we've already talked about this. We had we had someone on the show who saw Beyoncé do a change at a party. Yes. I want to have a party where what should the challenge should be how many times can I change? <laughs> Oh, That's yeah. Hard. How many times yeah. can I do an outfit change? But they all have to be, like, outfits. Yeah, it's not, like, a slight. This no, is, like, yeah. full-on head-to-toe yeah. full look. A I different emotion for every outfit. Yeah. 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 I think you hire a makeup Maybe, person. Would that be yes. fun? Would everyone do it? Would, if, I, if I did a party where everyone should do that? Yeah, but... Would it or get, is it not as fun? I mean, I think it's fun, but then I worry that, like, can we socialize because we're all worried about... Changing. Well, but I think that would be the fun. Somebody would disappear for, like, 15 minutes, and then yeah. they'd show back up, and they'd be right. in a whole other thing. Then yeah. maybe it's not how many you can do, but, like, do three throughout the That's night. That's true. Yeah, yeah, you know, you shouldn't do a ton, but three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I, I love do. it. That's a fun I one. am great totally idea. Three looks. Board. Yeah. Or maybe just secretly sneak away, don't tell anyone, and then see see how long it lasts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see how long the party lasts? Yeah, uh-huh. just see how long it takes for someone to say something. That would be really Realize funny, actually. Yeah. I like that. I mean, I've definitely done that before. Yeah, yeah. I've left like, my own I party. need to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Just come back in a new outfit, being like, I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching all of you. <laughs> Full on new hair and makeup. I like it. I'm on board. Yeah, that'd be nice. Your makeup. Everyone gets an entrance mm-hmm. <laughs> every time. You know what we should do is like, like the bachelor entrance. Like the first ten are like kind of legitimate entrances, and then they get gimmicky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just kind of like you don't even see them step out of the limo. Yeah, yeah. They show up in a giant boot or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, is that? It's always thing? pun. It's a lot it's of puns. A lot stuff. of puns. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's very pun heavy. A lot of visual gags. Are mm-hmm. we? Are we in between? We're in Batch and Dice. This is Batch and Dice. I'm, I'm, g- I'm giving up. I've given up on the whole. Yeah. Not watching Batch and Dice because I have like weird feelings about the whole Corinne thing. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, nope, nope, too yeah. much. I'm no. good. No. If it was like that close to being rapey, it's like, nah, I think I'm yeah. good. I dipped out. It's I'll be back bachelor. for. I'll be back for the Bachelor though. Gotcha. Okay. I'm still a person. <laughs> batch and yeah. dice is much more seedier yeah and i'll probably even watch batch and dice next summer but yeah I but this one we couldn't support it. Couldn't yeah. support it yeah plus i like corinne a lot makes sense yeah makes sense um like two nights after you saw charo i saw john williams at the hollywood bowl oh yes how was that sick nice. and that was your first what time at the bowl that? my first time at the hollywood oh, bowl oh really i didn't know yeah, that yeah. i've never been there before what was up with the, the lightsabers? They handed them out? No, they're like, you can buy them for like five bucks. Or oh, I was like, why does everyone have these? Yeah, you can buy them for like five bucks. And then it's just like he, when he's playing Star Wars, it's everyone Everyone's just like, like e- e- playing with their lightsabers in the crowd. It's really fun. I remember it was that. Really I cute. saw him there years ago, too. Yeah. Who Did he have a celebrity guest when you did it? I don't think so. Okay. Because um, uh, I, I had lucky. heard... <laughs> I, I had heard that he always has like a celebrity come out and like do a thing like Seth MacFarlane's done it and Hathaway oh, like, yeah, people yeah. do that kind of stuff Kobe Bryant oh, oh I heard about that that's a very weird guest and yeah. he came out and he read he has a poem called <laughs> Dear Basketball that is a <laughs> yeah he wrote oh, he, he, wrote he, he wrote handed it, it out on the night of his final game everyone who came to that game got a copy of it on their seat yeah so he read Dear Basketball that, I'm actually really jealous you got to see that and John Williams played music what behind mu- what's it. What was he playing? Of course. Shout out to Eric DeDorian. I'm really sorry that you missed that. What song did he play in the background? No, he, well, so he made a short, an animated short film of the poem and he asked John Williams to do the score for it. So they showed the, the animation and Kobe read it live and he played the That is score. absolutely fucking That's batshit. fucking bonkers. <laughs> it was, um. Wow. Wow. So did Kobe Bryant and John Williams have coffee together? They were like friends. But John Williams has also never been to a basketball game. Uh, wow. He, never? No, he's never no, he's never been to a basketball Have game. Have you guys been to a basketball game? Of course. No. Yes. No. Uh-uh. Hannah? Yeah. All right. No. See, most people have. I mean, yeah, I'm sure they That's have. That's crazy. I, I just, like, where, where I'm from in Maryland, it's like, we don't have, like, an NBA team. Right, yeah. and then there's the Terps, but like that's college basketball. Terp. Like, what the terp. fuck is a Terp? That's a oh, terrible ter- team name. Terrapins. The college. <laughs> oh, the Terrapins. Yeah, you know. What is a Terrapin? <laughs> is University, it a bird? University of Maryland College Park. No, but I don't Terps? know what what kind of animal that is. It's a, oh, it's a turtle. turtle. Oh, okay. like oh, I have no. I've never heard of a ter- Terrapin. Weird. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, it's like a yeah. It's a turtle. I forget, I forget his name. I don't care about that. <laughs> Terp. um, no, we the have terp. the Terps. Terry yeah, the Terp. Yeah, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, like, and, and they're like, you know, College Park's a huge team. So 
there's there was always that but i can never give a fuck about college sports or anything i didn't go there so um but yeah, so like don't I've never I don't know anything about the NBA. But like yeah, and John Williams really doesn't. But like Kobe, <laughs> Kobe like years ago like called John Williams and was like, because I guess he like thought that his role in the team was like being the conductor of the team. So he oh. wanted to get ah. tips from John I mean, Williams it's true. on being a conductor. <laughs> That is so funny. It's, wow. It's so pretentious. I mean, that's, that's so it funny. It is true. <laughs> I guess. I mean... I mean, it's I, both. It's an interesting... It's both. It's and interesting. It, I never Co- would have thought about that. Yeah. Kobe's an ex- extremely pretentious. Yeah. And also, obviously, we will say problematic person, but... Yeah. Uh, also incredibly problematic. Yeah. So, yeah. But he's... I mean, Kobe yeah. is, like... He's, like, almost like a Kanye, where it's, like... He's... That, yeah, that's in character for Kobe. Like, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. No, I mean, I can't like him. Reality. I never will like him, but yeah, I no. understand. Yeah. 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 It was funny. Brendan got up and was like, fuck this. And he like went to the bathroom. <laughs> and there's oh, a guy yeah. that was sitting next to us who was just like, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> and Brendan was like, I'm not saying anything. I'm just like politely just going to leave and not be here for this. Oh, my God. He read Dear Basketball to an orchestra. That is so funny. It, and then he like, so they did that and everyone was like. Kobe! Like, nobody, there was no reaction to the poem, but people just kept yelling his name at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like you clap at the end of Yeah, that. it's like, don't worry about the thing. We love you, even though you're reading poetry. <laughs> um, and then, like, so he goes away, and then at the end, they played, like, the Imperial March, and he, like, came out with a lightsaber and was, like, waving what? a lightsaber on stage. What? Yeah. He, like, popped his head out on the side of the lightsaber and was, like, popping his head out. So fun. Yeah, I was like, hey, what's that up? Is bizarre. Hey, hey, That's exciting. Wow. Very weird celebrity to show up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was cool. The Charo thing, I did get to go, like, when we were leaving, the doors were open to the stage, and I got to walk up and see what it was like to stand on that stage Ooh, real quick. That would be cool. Yeah. So it's cool. a gorgeous that, space. Right? Yeah. That did just really make pretty. me think, like, if, if I had a lightsaber, I probably would jump on stage, too. Yeah, I mean, what sure. are you going to not? Yeah. Yeah. I guess he's, like, writing a lot of poetry and making a bunch of short films. Is kind of his... He's, like, an oh, artist now. Is he's this? going George W. Yeah. Yeah. That's, like... Oh, him and, uh, <laughs> him and uh, Jim Carrey need to, like, I know. sync up and do some art together. <laughs> okay, before we go to break, real quick, retirement <laughs> hobbies. I don't even have any now. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> legit would paint. Would paint with, with, with an unlimited budget. Would paint so much. I fucking love painting classes in college. Painting is really good. Like, and, like, having, like, oil, like the oil and, like, having, like, being able to, like, really go for it. I love that shit. It's very relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll probably get into cooking. Cooking? <laughs> you just lied to us. <laughs> I just saw your eyes shift away. You couldn't even finish the word. <laughs> cooking. C- cooking. Cooking. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I can barely deal with life now. I can't think of that. <laughs> Anna, you Anna. any ideas? Uh, yeah, crocheting. Did anything with my nervous fingers. Anything yeah. like that. Mm. Just to- That's good. I love the idea of of like knitting, being a good knitter or a crocheter. I just, it seems cool. I wish I could do that. Seems I wish I could make a hat, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you have cool. gifts for people. Yeah. 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 My yeah. grandma, when we were like, um, when we were like 10, um, she had us make these drawings and we had no idea why. She just asked us for drawings mm-hmm. um, of something that we liked. And uh, then she took those and she designed sweaters and knitted them. Oh, us. cool. It was really awesome. With the drawing, like the drawings, the drawings on it? That's yeah. awesome. Oh, that's dope. That's really cool. Man. That's some next level grandma shit. I know. Wow. <laughs> shit. Super grandma. That's awesome. Tess, what about you? Um, oh, salsa dancing for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We'll be back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, we're back on Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Barbara. I'm Tess. And here we're with Hannah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're going to play... What are we playing? Uh, <laughs> who, what, what, when, where, where. <laughs> who, what, where, when. Why? Who, what, where, when. Yeah. Roll it. Who, what, where, when. Who, what, where, when. Who, what, where, when. Who, what, where, when. I uh, I was just listening to one of our old episodes, and I really miss the French Stewart theme song. We've got to make another one. Oh, yeah. I know. We've got to just check in with French. We'll, we'll check in with French. Get yeah. him on soon. Yeah. yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah. You it's know like, what? I don't know why I did this to myself, but I listened to the Boyfriend to Boyfriend episode. 
Oh. With my ex. Wow. How was that? Oh. It was interesting. I don't know why I wanted to. I was just like, I just want to like hear this. I forgot that we did that. That was funny. Remember we were listening to see what they were saying about us? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. We like made our boyfriends come on and do a segment and like kind of do some of the... Remember we made... We pretended we were going to make them do Fuck, Mary Kill for us. Yeah. Yeah. That was so funny. It was so funny. (laughs) And they were all like, uh, we're not doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Absolutely not. We're just outside the garage cackling. We said that and we were like, name one thing you love about us. I can't believe we did that. (laughs) We're awesome. Yeah. It was great. It was pretty... Why have a boyfriend if you're not going to make them say things they love about you? Exactly. Yeah. You got to embarrass them a little bit. It was nice to listen to. I think I gave up at some point because I was like, oh, this is weird. But I'm sure that's hilarious. (laughs) All right. Anyway. Okay. This is not that segment. No. <laughs> this is who went when we're white. Um, who can get it? Uh, there are no wrong answers. No. God. I am very embarrassed at who can get it. Every <laughs> <laughs> every gross narcissist in the world can oh, get it. Oh, I know. It. Yeah. Why are they so hot? Uh, something Martin wrong. Shkreli? No. Not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. No, he tried though. Um, really? I, I tweeted a bunch of jokes about him. And what? I, really? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I tweeted a bunch of jokes about him, and then I tweeted him. Um, I also did this to Alan Trigun Williams. Uh, a cease and desist for this haircut. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, he he slid into my DMs and was weird. Oh, oh surprise! What a yeah. creeper. Yeah. He's just, like really creepy with Lauren Duca. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah, he, he yeah she gets that, trolled so bad. Yeah. He has that, like, he wants to be a villain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He contacted my writing partner because he couldn't get through to Funny or Die directly because why would he? Yeah. Um, no one wants to work with you, dude. Yeah. And, yeah. and he asked him if, if he could write uh, videos for him to be funny in. And it's just like, <laughs> why? No. No. You no. are a villain. It's, you're not alaska thunderfuck you can't make this good no. it's it's not a snake emoji it's people's lives yeah right exactly exactly Ugh. Yeah. uh he can get dead yeah <laughs> i think he's in jail for a minute though right he's in jail i, I think, think so, so yeah. yeah oh god did oh, you guys read those no jury way. transcripts oh, they're amazing they're, they're so they're funny so good. yeah what, oh, wait, what, what did they say they, they couldn't they couldn't it's find, people like, interviewing people to be on the jury and they couldn't find any of them because they all fucking think he's a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah even that people, should be part of his punishment is he should have to have the these read to him yeah. for sure like even oh he he knows i mean you think he fucking yeah yeah even like the people that like didn't know who he was are like there's just something about him yeah yeah so when just want I, w- I just want to punch him in the face he yeah. does have that je ne sais quoi. yeah Here, here's some uh the only thing i'd be impartial about is what prison this guy goes to oh. <laughs> one juror declared said another i don't like this person at all um <laughs> oh wait where's also like he disrespected the wu-tang clan <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite one so far yeah i'm aware of the defendant and i hate him <laughs> and he's in the room while they're interviewing oh that's him. amazing yeah so he heard all this shit that's so good it's really funny yeah i was looking yeah, yesterday him. in the newspaper and i saw the defendant there was something about him i can't be fair there was something that didn't look right <laughs> And he just had to sit there and take it. Yep. That's amazing. Yep. Just got to fucking sit there. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. God, oh there's so God. many people who need that exact thing to happen to them. This is something yeah. we need to do, even if that is the punishment. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Should, a jury of your peers should just tell you what they really fucking think about you. Oh, God. <laughs> Only if you're a bad person, right? Well, yeah. Or if you get convicted of a crime worthy of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that what Saraha is supposed to be? I, yeah, kind of. But it needs of. to be in person. Yeah. yeah. It needs no, to be sure. like, to show your face. Well, our yeah, hands yeah. are on a Bible, and this is what we really think of you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I thought for <laughs> two seconds, I thought about doing a podcast where I just, I open a Saraha and I just respond to whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not going to because I'm too scared. I mean, is anyone oh, Sarahaing anymore? But they would if you like put it out there a bunch. True. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it's coming and going pretty quickly, though. Yeah, it's yeah. It'll be on. Yeah, well, yeah. It's it going gone. the way of the uh, LO. LO. Yeah. yeah, it's the way of the. That's the new way of the dodo. <laughs> yeah, the way of the LO. <laughs> I'll get an email from them every once in a while, and I'm yeah, like, excuse you. <laughs> Isn't it so funny to think or funny slash tragic? But um, that there are like probably like 75 people who for three years straight. Didn't eat, didn't sleep, didn't have relationships, work just did a bunch of cocaine Ello. to work yeah. on Ello. Oh, like, there were people who truly. lost yeah. the love of their life to yeah. work on Ello. Yep. 
We need to see that social network movie. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Really? That needs to happen, please. I would really love that. <laughs> just like the last year of Friendster, everyone in the office just freaking uh, out silently in their offices. Like, yeah. Oh, no. <sighs> the day the Friendster died. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anybody else can get it? Uh, Any narcissistic douche? Ah, uh, God. I don't want to say I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> You dated uh, a lot of guys okay. with swords. Yeah, I have dated a lot of guys with swords. Um, <laughs> I like spooky women um, mm-hmm. on TV. There was a time when Aubrey Plaza and Gillian Jacobs were both on uh, TV at the same time. And yeah. I liked when they glared into the camera. Like they were going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. yeah. I like that. Gillian Jacobs is so pretty now. She's, um, what was that Irish show that she did where she played the... The cop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was like a bombshell. Like get it, she's gorgeous, get it and she's fucked up in that. It's yeah, so yeah, yeah. That show is really fucking good. I've never seen it. That's oh, you should. Yeah, if you like, Gillian if you like her, you watch yeah. It. yeah. She's really fucked up in it too, in like the best way. <laughs> yeah, and just like a well, it's very like UK. Yeah, it's a very good UK like murder drama. Yes, it's nice. called The Box. No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. Is it The Box? I don't fucking know. Somebody tell us. It's about called it. The Planning. Or yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah. The, something the revening but not the whatever revening. you know yeah the, one of the ings yeah yeah i don't know um okay. what's left <laughs> uh not dignity um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think that's true or do you think that no one gives a fuck because i think that's probably more the yeah. answer well is it not giving well no cause, i mean I not mean, people don't give a fuck about other people like people's dignity people don't care about other people's dignity no yeah that's true not as much as we think they do. Like, yeah. pe- I like more scared about what people think of me than they actually do because they honestly probably don't care. Oh yeah, most people don't think about other people at all. Yeah, yeah. really. I yeah, mean, they just think about themselves. How they're coming off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. like being in a dance class and you don't get the steps right, and you think that it's like everyone knows it, but everyone's just worried about their own steps. Yeah, right. No one gives a fuck about yours, even seeing that you're fucking up the dance. It's also like I don't. I forget that people think about things, you know, you forget that people think about things in such a different way than you. Right. So, like, if anybody shames somebody or thinks that something is weird, yeah. like, you know, I'm a, a very open, like, person, and so I will not understand if somebody thinks it's shameful that somebody does, I don't know, fucks a lot of people or something. Like, yeah. to me, that doesn't make any sense. And right. I'm like, what? I've, but I've never thought about it like that. How yeah. could you? <laughs> it's so it's so easy to just dismiss that as like even a possible reality. Right. I'm like, but that's mm-hmm. but if, but why would that matter ever? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, and I think when I was younger, especially, I would just be like, well, this is how I am, and I don't really give a fuck. And it's like it it didn't even really cross my mind that other people were judging me. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but they were. Yeah. Ah, oh, God. Can we all go back to that? Right. Yeah. Uh, God, I miss the days of just having a Pikachu backpack and being made fun of and not giving a shit. <laughs> yeah. Right. And now I'll see little kids with Pokemon shit and I'm like, I got pushed into locker so you could wear that. <laughs> <laughs> but now you've got a phone purse that Alaska Thunderfuck liked. So yeah, I feel like yeah. you did kind of come That's out pretty, of the woods on that, that one pretty well. That is some yeah. purse first shit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, where did you meet Alaska Thunderfuck? Uh, my ex did a show um, at a at a gallery, right? It's the this tiny little gallery right by um, uh, Nerd Melt. And I had just gotten done with the Hard Times Live. And he was like, come over here. And I didn't know what was uh, mm-hmm. what was there. <gasps> Holy shit. So it was a surprise. It was a surprise. Alaska Thunderbolt. Awesome. I got to meet Alaska. Uh, <laughs> what were they doing? Uh, they were promoting uh, a series of uh, photographs by Magnus Hastings. Like a, like oh, a, cool. It was cool. It was um, it was like a charity thing. Yeah. Yeah, it was Alaska and Willem. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. Alaska's a true, true queen. I yeah. mean, I was really happy when she won All Stars. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for sure. Like they couldn't really let her win her season after Sharon. Like they couldn't do yeah. Sharon and then Alaska back to back. Who was? But she kind of. That was Jinx's season, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I really yeah. love Jinx. Well, too. and like she, Alaska hadn't gone full Alaska quite yet. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. After that, she's probably season. still discovering. Yeah. 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 That's oh, that, true. Mm-hmm. When I saw her at DragCon this year, she came out in this gown that was made all out of dollar bills, but like this badass couture huge gown and sang a happy birthday to Rue. Oh, and it was awesome. just lovely. <laughs> or no, it was God is watching us, but he changed it to Rue is watching us. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I have there's, to show. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, there's a video online of Alaska singing. Um, 
uh, I forget the actual title of that song. The and I will always love you. Oh, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> I do remember yeah. it. Um, and uh, having two men just pee on her. Oh wow! <laughs> While singing it. <laughs> God, just all oh, the places you can fake. go. Uh-huh. Sure, Alaska's but- got some stories. It's awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, I wanted to shout out to my friend Jeremiah who listens to the podcast who this summer became transformed into a drag queen. His friend like took him under his wing and has transformed him. And it's been so cool because I get to see all the back like behind the scenes stuff. Uh, so yeah. I saw him unbox his first gown mm-hmm. and like all this stuff. And he's just like so meant for it. And so I'm so excited to see him perform oh eventually. God. Is he going to yeah. perform in Salt Lake while you're back? Not when I'm there, but I mean, I'm sure I'll see it at some point. But it's just so cool when you know what I mean? Like that's the kind of thing that's so specific to certain people that I'm like, oh yeah. my God, of course he's yeah. going to fucking kill this. Yes. So yeah. I can't wait to like watch him like progress, you oh, know? Yeah feels cool to see it from like the ground up that's awesome yeah, yeah. that'll be really cool i don't know what his name is yeah i gotta ask but figure that out I'm I'm doing... said, we will shout him out yeah mm-hmm. i'm doing the show at by the time this airs it'll have already happened so i don't know why i'm, I'm doing the show at um cinder block comedy festival mm-hmm. in new york where first um comics go up and do their normal set and drag queens come up and do like their normal dance routine or whatever it is they're mm-hmm. gonna do and then we f- and then we switch Oh man! Oh yeah, we had another. Oh, that's uh, fun. We had another comic on. I think who's doing that? Christina Catherine Martinez, I think, is doing it too. Oh fuck yeah! I love that's her. That's so cool. Yeah. That is. So do they make you guys idea. over and stuff, or what <laughs> happens? Yeah, I think so. And I think yeah, I don't know if I do a set, I might be a sword guy and like do it to like Eye of the Tiger. Oh, yes. that's awesome! Like Hell horrible yeah. in my bedroom fighting moves. <laughs> yeah, like that a uh, Star, Star Wars, Wars kid. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that poor kid. Oh my god. I know. It, it should be easy to paint a beard on my neck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love doing it. I love, like, yeah. drawing little goatees and stuff Here's on. Here's a trick for beards. Truly. You take a sponge, and uh-huh. then you just roll the sponge into brown makeup, and then when you put it on your skin, it looks kind of like a five o'clock Oh, like shadow. stubble? Yeah, oh. that's how you do stubble. That's a good idea. Sense. Learned that yeah. in community theater. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, talk to me if you need age lines or prosthetic <laughs> noses. I got you covered, spirit ladies. gum. Yeah, spirit no. gum. Spirit gum remover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Hana, where are your prom picks? Uh, I have a couple on Facebook, um, and they are, they look normal. I, even though I made the chocolate fountain explode, it looks like I had a normal prom. <laughs> you made the, you, you murdered the chocolate fountain at the, at the prom? I just kept shoving pretzels into the spout. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Were you intentionally trying to make it explode? I don't know what I was doing. I was just curious <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was an experiment. It's a good thing yeah. to be curious yeah. with. Yeah. Just I think I won the, experiment. The, the chocolate fountain phenomena years. Oh yeah. my god! They were, you know, they were. Was, asking, you know, it was weird. Yeah, yeah, it was when we thought the height of class was <laughs> yeah, yeah. really. Chocolate. Don't you remember being in a party chocolate. and be like, "Well, excuse me." Yeah, look at this chocolate fountain. <laughs> yeah, I think I've only seen it like once in person, maybe. <laughs> oh, you haven't been to a hometown buffet, have you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit, they got that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a hometown buffet. They got they got a chocolate so fountain. The, mm. So the chocolate's just being recycled. Like, yeah, I don't, have some weird. Don't think about it's that. Not to overthink. <laughs> we don't think about that part. We don't think yeah. about that. You just be excited that you have giant strawberries. To dip it in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I haven't fondued ever. You've never fondued? <laughs> well, we tried. I think me and my friends had a fondue, or fondue <laughs> party once. But, yeah. What happened? I don't remember the fondue part. It was a fondue and porn party, so I remember the porn part. <laughs> Oh, okay. Fun doing porn. That sounds like a really good party. Yes. It was really fun. That's, that's a lot of sauces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to fun doing. We got to. Shit. All right. We got to make this happen. I mean, is fun do really that good? I mean, I like cheese. I don't really need hot cheese on bread. Yes, you, you do. do. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty. It's good. pretty great. You can do a sweet. You can do a sweet fondue. Yeah, too. that's the last course. You do yeah, chocolate. Yeah. Oh, for the I last want. Course. Yeah. I don't want chocolate. I want like a cinnamon. Cinnamon. It's not raining down the fondue. Hallelujah! No. It's raining. No, I'm imagining all fondue could, is in a fountain. They're not all in fountain form. No, no, no. no. We could rig something maybe. Well, I mean, I'm thinking like a cinnamon. Like, <laughs> excuse me. I'm very excited. A cinnamon, yes. <laughs> a cinnamon roll fondue, where like the sauce is like butter, cinnamon, sugar, and then you dip uh-huh. in like a roll. Okay. I like right. where your head's at. I, that. I think that's doable. That's so yeah. Great. Here's I mean, what I think we need to do: is just take a lady to lady field trip. We are going to go out to Calabasas. Okay. That we're going to go. Go to like the most Calabasas fondue. Let's restaurant. go have a divorcé, right. like a divorcé dinner yes. at a fondue place. <laughs> big hats, big hats, and all. Yes, yes. Yeah. and we'll all pretend like we're we are just getting divorced and getting some fondue. That would be fun. <laughs> That'd be a fun thing to do if you were having like 
marriage trouble and just needed a fucking break with your friends just like we're just gonna go have a pretend divorce lunch right but yeah. then that's that's worrisome if you're having marriage trouble because then your friends all tell you how they actually feel about your yeah, yeah still yeah. your still husband playing with yeah, fire yeah. yeah that's true <laughs> but the most important thing is that we eat the fondue right yeah, and, truly. and i just feel like calabasas is where we should go for it that feels right i remember making fondue once in college for like our friend our friend came back from like six a six month internship and we were like we're gonna throw a fondue party for you and then it was just like four crock pots of crap and like right but we also had it indoor um an indoor slip and slide so that was pretty sick whoa Ooh. how'd that work where'd you uh, what'd you slip into you uh laundry <laughs> detergent but, but no i know that but at the end but, like what would you f- it was like a pool at the end oh oh yeah yeah so like a little bit of water with like suds in it at the kind end. of floors uh <laughs> Need all the details here. <laughs> it was it was a car- it was a carpet, but we had like the long the long um the long ones with like the 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 alligator at the yeah. end that you would go oh, through. Crocodile yeah. mile, yeah, crocodile mile. We we had a I crocodile had a, mile. I had a meltdown over crocodile mile. As a child. A <laughs> oh no, meltdown. What happened? Because <laughs> there was a commercial for crocodile mile that ran on all my favorite shows, mm-hmm. and my brother and I wanted it so bad that we were like, "Listen, we just need to play hardball with mom yeah. and dad. Like, we need a fucking crocodile mile." <laughs> well, they're, ni- they're like nineteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and I cried and I baked and I told my parents because I had some acting money because I'd already done a commercial I was like I don't have to go to college please use my acting money oh. to a crocodile mile I was like it's my fucking money I can get a crocodile mile if I want to and I had this huge dramatic song in the end oh my god I never, never got one <laughs> we've never got, got one why don't pull we okay next pool party we, we gotta can we fix please this? get a crocodile yeah. oh my god please we've gotta get thirty nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> all that acting money <laughs> not one fucking crocodile mouth <laughs> they've got to have new and improved ones even now i bet oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. right no there's definitely it's been a minute since i've been on a slip and slide i do well no one has a fucking grass lawn in la yeah. so yeah. you can't really do it on the like on the fucking succulents <laughs> in people's lawns on the, gr- on the pebbles yeah yeah, there's yeah. this thing this is an ultra quack <gasps> croc water park blast zone oh that's expensive yeah that's like almost but that's not bucks. a slide that's like a but that's like you get on the top slide and slide down yeah. on it do you though. think for an adult oh, that's whoa. fun i think so you never yeah. know my know. my dream literally is to like buy out the the lady <laughs> in the mo- in the mobile home next to me so i can just like have a separate lot that i can like put that next to a pool dude in. Yes. yeah you, should have a, a, you need an above ground pool you're in yes. the trailer home. yeah dude i want like a have you seen those um storage container pools what dude yeah that sounds like, perfect they're, they're like awesome. perfect depth they're really cool looking again boxcar kids that's one of your boxcars <laughs> yes. exactly back that, to the original you got that full boxcar you got, i you mean got really you are a boxcar kid Brandy. I, I actually am <laughs> yeah I, I truly am i'm really i'm really nailing it <laughs> <laughs> feels pretty good <laughs> oh i got i went to got to go to the pool of the guy who wrote paul blart mall cop <laughs> excuse me <laughs> and was the voice of salem the cat you waited 40 wow. minutes to tell us about this? Wow. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I only thought is, about is it because... there a signage on the outside of the estate? Yeah, it's like the know. Paul Blart <laughs> st- Fields <laughs> Manor. He's got that Blart money. Well, we kept joking and being like, Kevin James has been in this pool. <laughs> like, Do you think he'd be in that? He definitely blarted it. He blarted, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he totally blarted. He couldn't even say it. <laughs> Kevin James is blarting all over Ew. your pool. <laughs> That's a whole different color that comes out than the green when you pee, right? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Blurt green. Yeah. Oh. Blurted myself. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to go clean that up. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, everybody. We're back on Lady to Lady. I'm Barbara. I'm Brandy. I'm Tess. And we're here with Hannah Michaels. Hey, again. Hello. <laughs> and we're going to uh, answer a lady problem. If you have one, send them to us at lady to lady at maximumfun.org. <laughs> Lady problems. Lady problems. Lady problems. Do you have them? Lady problems. Do you have them? People have them. Um, I'll read this. Okay. Hello. Here is my lady problem. You know that friend you met when you were in elementary school and are still really good friends with 15 years later and feel like they're family? So much like family that you hate them a little bit, but put up with them because you've been through a lot together? I have one, and my husband hates her. To make matters worse, she recently got married, and I can't stand her husband. Mm. Things are fine when we hang out alone together... (laughs) 
but when anyone else is involved, mutual friend, spouse, parent, I have a terrible time. She's been mean to me in the past, which is why my husband hates her, good husband, Mm -hmm. and does things that annoy me, but I know in the end she means well and will do anything for me. Watch my dog in an emergency, pick me if I I was too drunk, let me bitch about my family without judgment, etc. I know we've definitely grown way apart over the years, but I don't have the heart to break up with her. At the same time, it's really awkward to have a friend they can't invite over to my house without my husband feeling like he's being attacked. Well, you, okay. Thoughts? Thank you so much for your time and all the laughs. I think you just got to hang out one on one. Yeah. 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 Only, only do outside of it stuff. Yeah. I've yeah. had this friend and that's the only solution. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, you don't need to see each other that much. Like, you still kind of want no. her to be in your life. So do like a couple times a year. Yeah. It's like a four time a year top situation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you don't have to like break up with her. No. No. A, no. I think that's a slow. Yeah. You know, just take also, your time Also, that's with just it. a moment that's not, yeah. 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 Exactly. But if she, like, continues to be mean to you, maybe, like, think about why you really want this person in your life still. I know that, like, it's hard to make, old, you know, it's impossible to make old friends that have known you back then. Yeah. But it's also, like, yeah. there's something freeing about, like, you know, I, I feel like sometimes with, like, friends that you've known for a long time, you can slip back into the person you were when you were closest a lot. So it also yeah. is, like, hard for you to, like grow sometimes or for them to grow so you can, it can kind of be kind of a codependent thing a little bit too so like i don't know if she's being shitty to you and you're not like standing up for yourself like that's you being trapped in like that place you know like what would she do if you were like mm, nobody talks to me like this anymore like please don't yeah i, I wonder mm-hmm. if she's talked to her about it doesn't sound like she's talked to her about the shitty stuff which is really hard obviously it's like a very for awkward sure. conversation yeah. to have yeah but it could be worth it if you Cause like, you know, we're all human beings. We all do shitty stuff and we don't always realize it. And like Mm -hmm. when someone calls me on my shit, I, I try to take stock of it and be like, Oh, I forgot. I don't realize that I come off like this. Mm -hmm. And then you have to like try adjust it. So she may, might be like that. I don't know. You could try to talk to her about it. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, again, maybe if it's like, if it is just, it's worth it enough that you still have fun with her every once in a while. Yeah. Then maybe you just leave it be and you have, just have a girl's night once every few months. Like, Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you still think it'll be fun to see her every once in a while, just do that. And I know sometimes yeah, yeah. it's awkward when you have gatherings and you're like, oh, is she going to know I had this and I didn't invite her? That can get a little sticky, but like, oh, well. But yeah. just start not inviting her and then guess what? You'll survive and realize that it's not a big deal. Yeah. yeah. It's way better to not have that weird yeah. energy there. Yeah, for exactly. sure. And like, I get it. It's like people have like groups of friends that don't all come together and like it's I think that's fine. And I, also, you know what? If she asks you about why she's not invited, which she probably won't, mm-hmm. gives you an opening to be like... Yeah. Then I think you can. Yeah. Then be like, you know, you've kind of made yeah. my husband uncomfortable because of this and blank. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't think you would just get along with these people or whatever. Right. Yeah, it's totally, totally fine to do that. I wish you guys were my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We are, we're definitely perfect. And we take all yeah. of this advice yeah. ourselves. Oh, yeah. For sure. You're licensed by the school of making nothing but bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure. I've confronted everybody that I should have. In my yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know that's the that's the thing always about these things where it's like it's so hard mm-hmm. to talk to people about that shit. It's just yeah, yeah. And so unless you have to, you're probably mm-hmm. not going to. I know. It's like some. I think we have this idea that like oh, every conflict should be very healthfully addressed. And it's like some people, it's okay just to have kind of a yeah. surface relationship with, and mm-hmm. you don't need to get into it with everyone. Like yeah, yeah. The people that are going to be a regular occurrence in your life, yeah, you kind of need to make sure that shit's legit. But yeah. Yeah, if you're seeing her, like, two or three times a year, fuck it. Yeah. yeah, and, like, be thankful for the memories that you had. And, like, I feel like a lot of the times people also are like, oh, well, we had this at one point, so this is, like, where it needs to be. And it's, like, not – that's not always – we change, you know? And, like, we all grow, and, like, sometimes we grow in different directions, and that just means that we just aren't going to see each other, you know? Or we're, we're, we're different people now than we were when we were younger or whatever. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And people have moments where, like, they – mean something to you in your life and then you know maybe they fulfilled their purpose or whatever and you can still see them and it's a nice walk down memory lane but it's not like yeah if know. she did want to break up with her what it would just be a slow fade i guess right i would go with the slow if she, fade if I she came to that slow fade, yeah yeah because yeah, if she's like been mean and like it doesn't seem like there needs to be some official some dramatic thing yeah because yeah. what do you do meet up for happy hour and <laughs> yeah <laughs> give her back her camisole i mean yeah <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> just like start 
start like take, take the next year to just return all of her stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> slowly well but it also says it's like she means well and would do anything for you and it's like it might just be maybe she's just like kind of off-putting and doesn't realize it so it kind of just depends on if you want her to be more casual or if you like want to try to fix this i guess yeah because i think that's usually the case with off-putting people because i'm yeah. kind of like i have a personality where i can kind of get along with a lot of different personalities and so i accidentally have gotten some off-putting friends yeah that i don't <laughs> i don't realize they're off-putting until i bring them out around others oh yeah, god yeah. you know hard test oh, yeah. yeah how many guys i've dated that that's happened oh dear lord yeah. <laughs> you bring them out into the public and it's like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the light the sun hits their and like you're like i'm sorry guys i really like it's like looking at black on black like at the time it really didn't stand out <laughs> right <laughs> oh boy yeah for sure <laughs> it'll be fine yeah you'll be good and like yeah it's it'll be all right um let's see if i put another one, quick one real quick because we got we got a little bit more time we can do um hana do you have any problems you want us to <laughs> work through while i'm looking for something? yeah if you want us to be your therapist we can just... yeah we can therapist it up if you want i got a ton right now um <laughs> i just realized like in the past month that i'm only attracted to like narcissistic people and i've been like joking about it a lot online mm-hmm. and stuff because i've been trying to figure it out um i don't know why that is i called my mom and she was like oh sweetie every woman in our family is attracted to narcissists so that was helpful <laughs> makes you feel good about your dad right oh yeah. sweetie oh, you're yeah. doomed <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. What I was yeah 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 that was you think that's the only per- kind of person you're attracted to i think so i think there's something about and i don't think it's like I don't think it's, like, having to do with my family. I think it's, like, I want that. Mm-hmm. I want to be that. I want to believe in myself that much. That much. Oh, right. I see. I see, yeah. Like, I, I don't know. But do you well, think a narcissist actually believes in themselves, or are they just, like, chasing it super hard and more public? Like, it's, I like, more the fake I think it. they believe think in they, themselves. I think they do. Sometimes. I don't know. I, know I think they of, think it's real. I know yeah. a lot of really sad narcissists. Well, yeah. they're sad. I mean, they're sad. Yeah. yeah. But I think, I know what you mean. And I think it's easy to like try to like get qualities by proxy by like mm-hmm. subconsciously dating yeah. people that have things you want. I mean, maybe like just be single for a little bit and really focus on doing things that like give you that feeling of like power and confidence. Yeah. And, Hell yeah. And then, you know, because yeah. then like you'll have, then you, you will have that and then, mm-hmm. yeah, you won't be seeking it as much in other Yeah. People. Things that you can do to like validate yourself that like yeah. maybe like, you know, and. Like, if you, if there's, like, a cause that you're really excited about right now or something, like, go do volunteer work for that and be like, look at me, I fucking did that. Go outside your, your personal comfort zone of, like, what you want to do for yourself. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. Yeah. I think that's probably a good way. Yeah. That's all the stuff that I, you know, sure. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying, Barbara. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I mean the I, thing is, it goes in spurts, in my experience, like, as far as, like, being like, oh, yeah, no, I'm just going to do it for myself, and then, like, mm-hmm. get those qualities, and it, like, works for a minute, but it doesn't kind of take away from the person you're, like, basically attracted to, that's, yeah. you know... It's right. Kind of, it's hard to change that, that's very ingrained. Yeah, yeah people are kind of hardwired. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, and it is, like, you know, if, like, there is a history of, like, you've like people are always trying to normalize but like oh i've known this narcissist they were close to me and like that's like they're 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 less bad if i like find more than that's just the way people are you know what yeah. i mean well do you think it's possible that it's not exactly the narcissism that you're attracted to like maybe there's someone who's just confident who's not a narcissist like maybe you're attracted to someone that does have that confidence and sort of like believes in themselves but you can maybe seek that out in a more healthy way I think maybe I don't know. I pathologize everything, so this could just yeah. be me like doing the mm-hmm. Woody Allen brain or or a brain that's not horrible to people, but yeah, analyzing <laughs> stuff a lot. <laughs> right, yeah, right, um, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. well. Your dad's a therapist, right? Your parents, both of them. Both yeah, them are. yeah. Well, there that... are seven in my family. Oh, my Damn. Lord. What are those family barbecues? Wow. Like? <laughs> well, it's crazy then that your mom is just like, wow. Well, we just all like narcissists. Like yeah. they haven't done their own like anal. Oh no, to break they're them. all a mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, right. That's, that's why they're the... therapists. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, they're all completely a mess. <laughs> I had a Thanksgiving dinner once, um, where. My grandmother was giving my uncle a therapy session about a therapy session he gave to a patient. What? And oh my while God. this was this happening, is a Woody Allen movie. It's like <laughs> a therapist turducken. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And while this was happening, there was a dog humping a pillow in the background. <laughs> that just made the scene <laughs> so beautiful. Oh my God, that's amazing. 
Oh, man. That, that was just kind of an encapsulation of that. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. And this was back in the time, too, where when I started being a comic, uh-huh. my family had this thing where they would hire a magician for every family function. Holy what? shit. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what that was about, but it was Whoa. definitely, I'm pretty sure, about the comedy. So they were like, Trying to this is the thing. entertainment that we like in this family. Okay. <laughs> magicians. Weird. Was it like that? No. Or were they like, it was- Hannah's into weird shit. We'll get a magician. Um, well, he wasn't Jewish, so they weren't like, let's get, because that, um, mm-hmm. and they're Oh, you mean trying to hook like them that. up. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. My mom insists that, uh, that, um, John Stewart is cute to me a lot. <laughs> And, oh, like, uh, find a nice boy, like, John. Yeah, and she yeah. calls him John Leibowitz. She calls him to use, say, John Stewart. Yeah. And I know she doesn't believe it herself. She I mean, I, think I mean, which John Stewart are we talking? Oh, yeah, no, early Daily Show, yes. Yeah. I, and yeah. I would never usually say this about people, but he has gotten a little too vegan for his own good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, too, yeah. He's too like, Gone. frail. Yeah. yeah. A picture of him playing soccer when he was still in college? Saint oh, Mary. yeah. <laughs> he, he, he was a good-looking man. He's, he's hot as fuck. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah, he met his wife on a blind date. Oh. <laughs> okay, all right. See? <laughs> See? You should, let your, should let your mom set you up with these magicians. <laughs> Come on! God. She oh. trying, was she, like, trying to, like, get you to date only these magicians? No, no, I she was... Oh, yeah. she no, was, I think this was, like, a... They're very versed in the entertainment industry, and they were, like... We are going to find the only person who's lower on the rung than comedians <laughs> to do this. Oh, well, you think it was like that? I think it, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea what it was. But it was a mind but game. But it was, it was, a, it was a something. It was. Weird. And I'm still trying to figure it out. Huh. I don't Well, know. figure that out first and then the nurse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like, I only want to fuck the magicians the now. There is a important. crossover there. Yeah. yeah for yeah. sure. Tess fucked a magician. Barbara, <laughs> I did, <laughs> but it was a very long time ago. I was a teenager, yeah, yeah. and I, you know, he was a street magician. Oh, teenage magicians are <laughs> very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more of a that's a more of a troubled dark street mag- magician. Yeah, he wasn't troubled or dark. He was really oh. good at Photoshop, but <laughs> a gra- you know, one of those uh, gra- graphic design magicians. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you know. Oh. So I'd like to know how that guy. He would light a cigarette, put it in his mouth, <laughs> let you look in his mouth. This is how he got me. Let you look in his mouth, <laughs> tongue out, and then and then you're like, I want to make out. With <laughs> pretty much, and then he would produce said lit cigarette by f- rolling his tongue out. He would go, and then the lit cigarette would be on his tongue. Ew, weird, weird. Uh, Tess loved it. <laughs> yeah, I was just curious. To see. <laughs> it's like tying a cherry stone yeah. but with a lit cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. we, can all agree the che- we can all agree the cherry stone thing is bullshit, right? Complete bullshit. Like, I, I don't even so. know what it's supposed to mean. It's supposed to mean like, you can like make out well if yeah. you can yeah. tie a really dexterous no. mouth or oh, something. Oh, I hate people who are really exploratory with their tongues. I agree. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, right? Yeah. 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 I don't need fancy footwork with your tongue. I yes. will say though, I haven't had like... I haven't had, man, the guys have been kissing lately. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Oh, it's such a bummer. Just want, like, a polite tongue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah just a I mean, little tease just, of a tongue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That they should dance. It. it should be a dance. Yeah. <laughs> An organic <laughs> tongue dance. <laughs> God, I hate loose kissers with too much tongue. Oh, uh, yeah. Just yeah. Loose, strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I want to feel the, that it's a muscle. You no, know what I mean? yeah. remind me that it's a muscle. Yeah. Perceptible enough. suction. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. second oh, no. second kiss ever. My tongue was sore for three days. Oh, because he like fully Ooh. suctioned oh, it. Oh god. Ooh, shit. Oh, with that fish face thing. Ugh. I don't. Ooh, if yeah. you can tell that I have a mustache, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Are nurses good kissers or not? Uh, some <laughs> really practice. Okay, I, could t- I, couldn't t- I could see them just like not giving a fuck what some, they were yeah. doing. It depends on what kind of narcissist they, they are. They can be really hot in bed because they'll be like controlling in, in the hot way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Know? That's generally the... That's their... Uh, that's generally the benefit. That's their Venus flytrap nectar, if you will. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> right. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Well, Hannah, where can everyone find you on the internet? <laughs> 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 what's your uh, twitter and all that stuff uh my twitter is hannah michaels uh my parents don't know how to spell so it's h-a-n-a-m-i-c-h-e-l-s mm. yeah it's uh it's weird it's uh There's no a in the michaels yeah yeah i'm one of the ungoogleables um <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's that's I'm on Twitter there and Instagram as well. And uh, uh, please don't add me on Facebook if you are a stranger and no. you have a weapon in your profile. Yeah, no sword guys. Yeah, no, but, uh, no sword guys. Other than that, if you're a lady, I'm super happy to because I need more ladies on my Facebook page. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Guys. Thanks for doing the show. Thanks for the words. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Bye. campers. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to Lady to Lady. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Lady to Lady Comedy. Or our individual accounts at Babs Gray, at Brand Dazzle, and at Testify Barker for our individual tour dates. If you have a lady problem, write us at Lady to Lady at MaximumFun.org. If you want to mail us, you can send us stuff at P.O. Box 412794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And don't forget to review us on iTunes. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com. That's two, like T-O, for great merch and info on our show. We love Love you. you. Bye. Bye. Maximumfun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Listener supported.